Good morning. Welcome to the h o m p o k Hongkai Mission of Hawaii, the Hawaii District Ministers Association online Sunday message. I hope you enjoy today's message online, enjoy the gratitude. And first of all, I will chant the Bandana Tisarana, and then I will share my message and also closing with the Nembutsu. Thank you so much. Today, I'd like to share with you about the memorial of the Okinawa War. In Japanese, we say, Irei no Hi. As you know, that about 75 years ago, of June 23, 1945, the Battle of Okinawa ended with many sacrifice lives, both US and Japan. The battle ended after three months. And more than 12,000 American soldiers were killed or missing in action. The highest number that lost in the single battle in the Pacific War. More than 70,000 Japanese soldiers and civilians were killed and also destroyed the many innocent people's lives. When I was a、uh, university school student, My mother and I traveled to Okinawa together. The reason why my mom want to, wanted to go to Okinawa is because there are two elementary school students from Okinawa, those who evacuated from Okinawa before the battle would begin in April 1945. The military government assigned the Sun Buddhist temple as a shelter for. Evacuated the student from Okinawa. One of the temples was my mother's temple in Fukuoka, Japan. I recall my mother's story about the two students from Okinawa. There were two boys at about age about 10 years old. They were so skinny due to lack of food when they were alive. And one of the boys was sick. Due to lack of a nutritious food. Of course, not only for them from Okinawa, but most of the people in Japan at that time, they had no enough food, including very essential food such as rice, salt, and miso. However, two boys, they never say any monku or complaints about food. My mother told me before, you know, the two boys, they woke up early morning to help for cleaning a temple and the gardens every day. They sometimes show me the Okinawan dances and singing songs for me. 
They are very humble and hardworking children. And my mother continued to share with me. After the Battle of Okinawa ended in 1945, they stay until about end of 1945. And then my mother was uh, informed from the government that two boys, their parents and sister brothers were killed during the Battle of Okinawa. My mother had a very difficult time to tell the two boys that their whole families were killed. After two months, she told the two boys the whole family had died. And before the end of 1945, they moved to a children's shelter center somewhere. And since then, my mother never had anything about two boys. That's the reason my mother wanted to go to Okinawa to visit the Okinawa War, the Memorial Historical Site. My mother and I, we are just sitting together. It's a Mamboni. It's the last place of uh, Okinawa battle. And there is a monument, the many monuments that in memory of the victims. My mom and I, we just sat down and we set our names together. And we're always, always just watching it's the blue oceans of Okinawa. My mom told me that there are many street children, even her hometown, Omuta city. They die in the side of the street due to the lack of food and sick. That reason, my mom and parent, my father, they opened in the child care center using the temple Hondo, main temple. Since then, my mom became a director of preschool and she ran the director of preschool and child care center over 45 years until she got sick. Last Tuesday, Hawaii Okinawa United Association of the Okinawa War Memorial Service, Ire no Hi, in memory of all victims during the Battle of Okinawa. The soldier of US and Japan, civilians, mothers, children, oji chan chan many other innocent people who lost their very precious life and unrepeatable lives. I'm sure they didn't want to die. They didn't want to lose their family. They didn't want to lose their babies and girlfriend and boyfriends, of course. They wanted to live more years. They just, they wanted to have the normal life. But the war destroys everything, especially human dignity. The Buddhism is always against the violence, discriminations, racism, especially the war. The Buddhism is always against the destroyed human life. As a minister of uh, Hompa Hongan Mission of Hawaii, I want to say, please, please keep just thinking about life is only one time. Life is very precious. Thus, we have to live. We have to be happy. Well, enjoy gratitude, not destroyed by war. Closing meditation, please join me, the moment meditation. Peace begins with each of us. Peace begins with respect each other and our lives. Peace begins with listening of the Buddha Dharma. Buddhism is a teaching of peace and harmony. I recite the Buddha's name, Namo Amida Butsu.
ナモアミ。